Welcome to Amazing Life 1 2 Channel Guides. Today, you watching Jennifer Aniston Lifestyle Biography and Beautiful Images. I hope you enjoy this video. Like, share, subscribe channel. Thank you for watching video. Jennifer Aniston Biography Jennifer Joanna Aniston, born February 11, 1969, is an American actress and producer. She is the recipient of various accolades, including a Primetime Emmy Award, a Golden Globe Award and two Screen Actors Guild Awards, in addition to a nomination for a Critics' Choice Award. Since her career progressed in the 1990s, she has become one of the world's highest paid actresses. Jennifer Aniston Aniston at the premiere of He's Just Not That Into You in 2009. Born Jennifer Joanna Aniston February 11, 1969, age 53. Los Angeles, California, U.S. Education Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School Occupation. Actress producer businesswoman years active 1987 present works for list spouses. Brad Pitt M. 2000, Div. 2005 Justin Theroux. M. 2015, September. 2017 Parent S. John Aniston. Nancy Dowood's full list The daughter of actors John Aniston and Nancy Dow, she began working as an actress at an early age with an uncredited role in the 1988 film Mac and Me. Her first major film role came in the 1993 horror comedy Leprechaun. She later rose to international fame for her role as Rachel Green on the television sitcom Friends 1994-2004, for which she earned Primetime Emmy, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild Awards. She has since played starring roles in numerous dramas, comedies and romantic comedies. Her biggest box office successes include Bruce Almighty 2003, The Breakup 2006, Marley and Me 2008, Just Go With It 2011, Horrible Bosses 2011 and With the Millers 2013 each of which grossed over $200 million in worldwide box office receipts. Some of her most critically acclaimed film roles include Office Space 1999, The Good Girl 2002, Friends with Money 2006, Cake 2014 and Dumplin' 2018. She returned to television in 2019, producing and starring in the Apple TV Plus drama series The Morning Show, for which she won another Screen Actors Guild Award. Aniston has been included in numerous magazines lists of the world's most beautiful women. Her net worth is estimated as $300 million. With a box office gross of over $1.6 billion worldwide, one. Aniston has been referred as one of few performers to have influenced several generations of viewers. She is the recipient of a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and is the co-founder of the production company Echo Films, established in 2008. She has been married twice, first to actor Brad Pitt, to whom she was married for five years, and later to actor Justin Theroux, whom she married in 2015 and separated from in 2017. Early life Aniston was born on February 11, 1969, in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood of Los Angeles 2-3 to Greek-born actor John Aniston and actress Nancy Dow. 2. One of her maternal great-grandfathers, Louis Greco, was from Italy. 4. Her mother's other ancestry includes English, Irish, Scottish, and a small amount of Greek. Her father's ancestry is from the Greek island of Crete. Aniston has two half-brothers, John Melick, her older maternal half-brother, and Alex Aniston, her younger paternal half-brother, too. Her godfather was actor Telly Savalas, one of her father's best friends. 2. 5. Her family moved to New York City when she was a child. 2. Despite her father's television career, she was discouraged from watching television, though she found ways around the prohibition. When she was six, she began attending a Waldorf school. 6. Her parents divorced when she was nine. 7. Having discovered acting at age 11 at the Waldorf school. 7. Aniston enrolled in Manhattan's Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts, where she joined the school's drama society, 8, and where Anthony Abison was her drama teacher, 9. She performed in The Sign in Sidney Brustian's Window by Lorraine Hansberry and Three Sisters by Anton Chekhov, 10. Personal life Aniston practices Hatha Yoga and Budokan Karate, 143, 144, 145. In 2014, she spoke of her transcendental meditation practice, 146. The following year, she revealed she has dyslexia, which had affected her education and self-esteem, and that after being diagnosed in her 20s, her outlook toward life changed. 
She stated, I thought I wasn't smart. I just couldn't retain anything. Now I have this great discovery. I felt like all of my childhood trauma dies, tragedies, dramas were explained. 147. Aniston donated to Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign and took part in a fundraiser for Hillary Clinton during her 2016 presidential campaign. 148 149 150. She endorsed Joe Biden in the 2020 presidential election. 151. Relationships Aniston met Brad Pitt in 1998, and their relationship was highly publicized. 152 153. She married Pitt, after two years of dating, on July 29, 2000, in a lavish Malibu wedding. For a few years, their marriage was considered the rare Hollywood success. 2. On January 7, 2005, they announced their separation, 154, and finalized the divorce on October 2. 155. During their divorce proceedings, news media speculated that Pitt had been unfaithful to Aniston with his mister and Mrs. Smith co-star Angelina Jolie, with whom he began a relationship soon after the split. 156. In the months following, the public's reaction towards the divorce was reported in the press, and Team Aniston, and Team Jolie, t-shirts appeared throughout the country. 156. Aniston commented on the divorce in a January 2015 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, stating, nobody did anything wrong. It was just like, sometimes things happen, 147. In 2005, amid reports that their divorce was due to Aniston's refusal to have children with Pitt, Aniston said, I've never in my life said I didn't want to have children. I did and I do and I will. Dot dot dot. I would never give up that experience for a career. Aniston said the divorce prompted her to reach out to her mother, Nancy, from whom she had been estranged for nearly a decade. Nancy had talked about her daughter on a television show and written from mother and daughter to friends, a memoir 1999, 157-158. Aniston said she had been devastated by the death of her longtime therapist, whom she credited for helping make her separation from Pitt easier. 50. She said she did not regret her relationship with Pitt, describing it as very intense, and, a beautiful, complicated relationship, 159. Aniston began a relationship with actor, director, and screenwriter Justin Theroux in May 2011. The following January, they purchased a home in the Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles for roughly $22 million, 160. They became engaged on August 10, 2012, 161, and were married on August 5, 2015, at their estate, 162. They separated at the end of 2017, 163. Career 1988-1993, beginnings Aniston first worked in off-Broadway productions such as For Dear Life and Dancing on Checker's Grave, too, and supported herself with part-time jobs including work as a telemarketer, waitress and bike messenger, too. In 1988 she had an uncredited minor role in the critically panned sci-fi adventure film Mac and Me. The next year she appeared on The Howard Stern Show as a spokesmodel for Nutrisystem, 11, and moved back to Los Angeles, 12. She obtained her first regular television role on Malloy in 1990, and appeared in Ferris Bueller, a television adaptation of the 1986 film Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Both series were quickly cancelled. She starred as a teenager going to summer camp in the made-for-television film Camp Cucamonga, 1990, and as a spoiled daughter followed by a vengeful leprechaun in the horror film Leprechaun, 1993-13. A 2014 retrospective from Entertainment Weekly identified Leprechaun as her worst role, 14, and Aniston herself has expressed embarrassment over it, 15. Aniston also appeared in the two failed television comedy series The Edge and Muddling Through, 16, and guest starred in Quantum Leap, Herman's Head and Burke's Law, 17, 18. 1994-2004, friends and worldwide recognition depressed over her four unsuccessful television shows, Aniston approached Warren Littlefield at a Los Angeles gas station asking for reassurance. The head of NBC Entertainment encouraged her to continue acting, and a few months later helped cast her in Friends, 1916. A sitcom set to debut on NBC's 1994-1995 fall lineup. The producer wanted Aniston to audition for the role of Monica Geller, 20. 
but Courtney Cox was deemed more suitable, and Aniston was cast as Rachel Green. She was also offered a spot as a featured player on Saturday Night Live, but turned it down in favor of Friends, 21. She played Rachel until the show ended in 2004, when Aniston took a 15-year hiatus from television save for occasional guest roles. Aniston at the 2008 Toronto International Film Festival. The program was a massive hit and Aniston, along with her co-stars, gained worldwide recognition. Her character was especially popular. 22-23. She received five Primetime Emmy Award nominations, two for Supporting Actress, three for Lead Actress and one for Lead Actress. 24. She was also nominated for two Golden Globe Awards and one in 2003 as Best Actress, Television Series Musical or Comedy. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, Aniston, along with her female co-stars, became the highest-paid television actress of all time with her $1 million per episode paycheck during the final season of Friends, 25. Her character's relationship with Ross Geller, portrayed by David Schwimmer, was widely popular among audiences, they were frequently voted television's favorite couple in polls and magazines, 26. After a four-year hiatus, Aniston returned to film work in 1996, when she performed in the ensemble cast of romantic comedy She's the One. 27. Her first starring film vehicle was Picture Perfect 1997, where she played a struggling young advertising executive opposite Kevin Bacon and Jay Moore. It received mixed reviews and was only a moderate commercial success, 28 but Aniston's performance was more warmly received, with many critics suggesting that she had screen presence, 29. In 1998, she appeared as a woman who falls for a gay man played by Paul Rudd, in the romantic comedy The Object of My Affection, 30, and the next year she starred as a restaurant waitress in the cult film Office Space, 31. Aniston appeared in the dramedy rock star 2001, opposite Mark Wahlberg and Dominic West. She starred in the independent dramedy The Good Girl 2002, as an unglamorous cashier who cheats on her husband. The film was a commercial success in limited release, taking in over $14 million in North America. 32. Film critic Roger Ebert declared it her breakthrough. After languishing in a series of overlooked movies that ranged from the entertaining office space to the disposable picture perfect, Jennifer Aniston has at last decisively broken with her friend's image in an independent film of satiric fire and emotional turmoil. It will no longer be possible to consider her in the same way. 33. Aniston's biggest commercial success in film has been the comedy Bruce Almighty, 2003, where she played the girlfriend of a television field reporter, Jim Carrey, offered the chance to be God for one week. 34. With a worldwide box office gross of $484 million, 35-36, it was the fifth highest grossing feature film of the year. 37. Aniston next starred as the old classmate of a tightly wound newlywed in the romantic comedy Along Came Polly, 2004, opposite Ben Stiller, 38, which placed number one at the North American box office.